Hey, it's Bob Garfield. Here I am back in the lounge. Our guest is Jessica Jensen. She is the VP for Women's Lifestyles at Yahoo, where you run Shine, which is like the world's largest online platform dedicated to women. And you know, I want to talk to you naturally because you are from the online space. I want to talk to you about network television. Uh, <laughs> A lot of people. It actually makes a ton of sense. The last gasp for net network yeah. television is events in real time, Super Bowl uh, award shows, and right. so on, uh, where a community can coalesce around an event, whereas everything else is time shifted. Online has, I, 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 I guess, online is beginning to carve into even that part of Definitely. like the last chance gas of yep. TV's appeal. Yeah. Can you give me uh, some examples? Sure. Yeah, I mean, tentpole major events are huge for Yahoo and huge on the internet, right? I mean, the, for the, uh, we're finding people are watching, the t watching TV and using the internet concurrently in major, major ways. Trash talking on Facebook, sharing comments, searching for celebrity information. They are watching TV and using the internet or skipping TV altogether. Um, so things like the Oscars, we did a billion page views for the Oscars. So there's a lot. How many page views did you have for, uh, for the Oscars? Uh, over a billion. It was an absolutely gangbusters event for us. So people Excuse are. Me one just a second. Yeah. A, a billion. billion with a B, yes. So you can imagine it's perfect, right? I want to look at photo. What was, what was Catherine Zeta-Jones wearing or what was January Jones wearing? I want to talk about it, share it with my friends, and I'm watching the TV show at the same time. Or there are examples where people skip the TV show entirely and just watch it online. We're a distribution channel, just like TV is, so it's a perfect format. Uh, a while back, you did a special program concurrent with the royal wedding. That I, was I really... That someone got married in the UK. Some I people, I don't know if I you've heard of them. Yeah. yeah, they got married. Um, it was an enormous event, and we were shocked. We thought, well, in the U.S., the royal wedding's in the middle of the night, right? Starts at like 2 a.m. Pacific time. We thought people would wake up in the morning, look at photos, watch some video clips. We had an avalanche of video traffic in the middle of the night that went on for six hours. We had the largest video demand on Yahoo ever for, for the royal wedding. Um, so it was a really fascinating example of people choosing to skip the TV and go to the internet. And what, what was there? If I, if I Live stream of, of the actual event. So we did a partnership with ABC News. We had just the live straight video, uh, video of the wedding. And then all of our original content we were creating on the moment photo galleries. We did a fabulous photo gallery of the 12 weirdest hats that showed up at the wedding. Um, the comparison of Kate's dress to Grace Kelly's dress. So we were using the live video and then adding original content to that constantly. And then our, our social network presence was also on fire. People were saying, oh my god, the lace was so spectacular. Can you believe they used the chariot? You know, I mean, you can imagine the commenting that went on simultaneous to the, to the video. Oh, I can imagine because I was, you know, myself really caught up in the I'm sure you the woke up in the, yes. I mean, talking about lace at 3 a.m. is at the top of your list. I'm not even on a first name basis with Kate, as you seem to be. I am, yes. Uh, all right, <laughs> I want to ask you. <laughs> I want to ask you uh, a, a little tougher question. Yahoo is this gigantic platform, and I, maybe still the most visited. It's 650 million yeah. people a month worldwide. Yeah, uh, and uh, approximately half of Silicon Valley is ready to bury it. Uh, it's already out of its own, it sold its own search right. business. Right. And uh, people are just uh, sitting around waiting for, for yeah. waiting for it to finally, you know, collapse of its own weight. They should keep waiting. What, why, <laughs> why won't that happen? We are the world's largest media company. Um, certainly we've been, you know, we've had our challenges in the search space. I mean, there, there are some very legitimate, cr legitimate criticisms of us over the last several years. Facebook has been an amazing, amazing revolution in technology and consumer time. We don't actually think we compete with, that, with Facebook. We think we work in tandem with them. So there have been some very impressive fast movers that people in Silicon Valley obsess about and, and have used that as an opportunity to decry the death of Yahoo. We're a very profitable, successful company, uh, great growth globally. Um, we're the most shared content on Facebook. 
We have huge presences in emerging markets. Um, don't knock us till you try us. Don't write us off. I, I remember when Yahoo brought in uh, all these ex-ABC executives to do programming. Uh, well, I don't know what was on their minds uh, as they tried to create original Yahoo content, but that was uh, on the verge of being catastrophic. It was expensive and unproductive and uh, poor at building an audience and, and you know all of the above. Uh, what what was the what's the secret to creating content at Yahoo that, for example, AOL till now has not figured out? It's a great question. We have definitely learned and perfected this mix over time. So as I mean, Yahoo is the great aggregator, right? That's been our position for a long time. So we have amazing relationships with all the biggest publishers in the world. They are great, great partners to us. On Shine, we work with Hearst, Condé Nast, et cetera, et cetera. We also have invested heavily in original content, and we're succeeding at it. Our original video series on Yahoo are some of the most watched videos online. Our original video programs are some of the most popular on the web, and we've had to learn how to do original content effectively and with a positive ROI. We work heavily with the blogger community. We have a lot of great bloggers contributing on Shine. Yahoo Sports is a great blogging position. Yahoo News, throughout Yahoo. Um, we acquired a company last year called Associated Content. Oh, yes, you did. Yes, we did. It's now called the Yahoo Contributor Network, yeah. um, which is 400,000 writers that we can call on to do hyper-targeted content. So it's a blend of our you know, top-tier household name publisher partners, our on-staff Yahoo writers and editors who are the best in the business, and our community of bloggers and other writers out in the world. Hyper-targeted content, or as I call it, auto-pandering. Uh, it's a content farm and that you, you bought it, you paid a pretty, pretty penny for. Why and is it a content farm? If I can reach out and say I'm looking for moms in Dallas to write about the best, best place to take kids on the weekend, and I get real moms in Dallas to write that story. Why is that a content the, uh, farm? Well, I didn't, I didn't call you into the lounge to have a debate with you, but let's do, shall we? Let's. Why? Because it's the cart pushing the horse. It's, you get, you're, you're making your assignment based on some trending topic that's coming up. Uh, what's you're, wrong so, with that? Well, but what's wrong is there's no discovery, there's no serendipity, there's just. And by the way, the content's probably going to suck because it's created at very low price by people getting paid. We're curating Candies. everything. We don't publish content that sucks. So that's our, the onus is on us to edit, select, and curate content. So you're right. We, do, we know what people are looking for, and we find that information for them. We also program content to them that they would never have thought to be interested in. So it's that fusion of push and pull. What do people want, and what do they want that they don't know that they want that we think we're very good at? I'll just make a deal with you. You can stack up, you get the top 50, uh, what's, what's it called now? The, uh, the Associated Content Yahoo stuff. Contributor Network. Yahoo, Yahoo Contributor Network contributions. Pick your top 50, and I'll pick a random 50 from the, 10, uh, the second 10 uh, uh, newspapers in the United States randomly, and I'll bet my, my contributions are far more interesting and have a lot more scope and are much better produced than yours. Because it's probably higher quality content. Yeah, but, you know, I didn't, again, I didn't yeah. invite you in here to pick at you, although I'm, I have to say I've really enjoyed the exercise. Good. Uh, tell me, what's the best news about Yahoo since I've just gotten done um, taking it a task? What's the best news Thanks. about Yahoo mm -hmm. that you could, could share with skeptics who are just, you know, waiting for the, uh, waiting for the funeral to start? <laughs> best thing at Yahoo is video. We see 75% completion of video ads. If you're a marketer, that is liquid gold. And the consumption of video on Yahoo is radically increasing, and it's great quality content. So we're super excited about video at Yahoo. Well, that makes uh, a liar of me. Uh, I've always been 
I've always been a, one of the world's biggest uh, pre-roll skeptics, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm dying to dig into the numbers you just cited. They are outstanding. Well, Jessica, thank you very much. I appreciate you, thank you, you. coming into the lounge. Uh, and I appreciate you coming into the lounge. Uh, I'm Bob Garfield. Now I'd appreciate it if you, you know, just turn around and get right back at it.